let's look at how to do a mail merge in Microsoft Word for Mac 2011. Your data can be in an Excel spreadsheet or a CSV file, which you can generate or save from many different programs. Word for Mac also allows you to import from your contacts. If you're using a spreadsheet, your information should be arranged in columns, like this. You must have headers or titles on each column. In Microsoft Word for Mac, we'll start by using the File menu at the top of the page to open a new blank document. Next, click on the Tools menu at the top of the page, where you click to start the Mail Merge Manager. In Step 1, select Document Type. Click Create New and select Labels from the drop-down menu. Under Label Products, choose Avery Standard and then scroll to find your product number and click OK. The product will be organized by the first digit of the product number. Click to highlight your product number and then click OK. If your product isn't listed, you can use our free Avery Design and Print Online software instead at avery.com templates. The document will now have next record on all but the first label. If you don't see any grid lines in the document, use the Table Layout tab at the top and select Grid Lines. Next, go to Step 2 and click Get List. There are also options to use your Apple address book, but today we will open Data Source to browse for our spreadsheet. Click on the spreadsheet and click Open. You can click OK to confirm your spreadsheet is safe. Keep Sheet 1 selected unless your information is on a different sheet in the Excel file and don't enter anything in the field where you can choose cells and click OK. Next, you arrange the labels in Step 3 of the Mail Merge Manager using the Insert Merge field option in the Edit Labels window. You'll see your column headers and can click on each one to insert the field into your labels. You can add spaces, commas, or use the return key to make the sample look how you want. Then click OK. The labels won't show your information until you click on Preview Results, which is the ABC button in Step 5 of the Mail Merge Manager. In Step 6, you click Merge to New Document, making sure All is selected next to it. You can then close the Mail Merge Manager. If you need to make changes to any individual labels, you can do that directly on the document. Be sure to save your document in case you want to make changes or print it again. And that's how to do a mail merge using Word for Mac version 2011. If you need help designing your labels in Microsoft Word, watch the video on working with text and images in Word.